All right, so this is the tutorial for Edgar Degas, The Green Dancer. This is for our upper grades, so there's going to be some kind of different shapes and a bit more detail. Um, if you are uncomfortable with this level, please feel free to use the younger level that we did with um, simpler shapes. Circles and triangles and stuff, keeping that very simple. Okay. So we are using watercolor pencils for this project, and this box right here is our box of watercolor pencils. This container here, these are not our watercolor pencils. Some have gotten mixed in now, but this was just our plain old colored pencils. Uh, and some of them have gotten mixed into here. So when you go to get your supplies for this, got to check and make sure your pencils say watercolor. And they're not one of the other ones that have gotten mixed in. Because this will react with the water, this won't. All right, let me get this out of the way and we'll get started. Okay, and hopefully you can see this okay. I'm going to pick just a, a basic color for my outlines. I'm going to try this orange. I think that'll stand out well enough for you to see. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here in the middle with her head and her body and then we're going to add the skirt and the legs and then we'll get to add some more detail. So I'm going to start here in the middle with her head. Let's give me a smaller head. Just a small circle. And then down below the circle and kind of to the right I'm going to make just a little arc or parentheses, basically. Hopefully you can see that. And I'm going to connect the two with lines that are curving inward. So I'm going to do this and this. Okay, so what I've got right now is I've got her head, her neck, and just the top of her chest that shows above her shirt. I'm going to start doing this a little bit darker. So hopefully you can see bit easier. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to expand this, kind of make a puffy shaped C. This is the top part of her shirt. So I'm just going to come up here and bring this around and connect it there. So this is the top of her shirt. Her arms are going to come out here and down below it I'm going to give her kind of a, a, a belt or just a little bit more torso. So I'm just going to kind of curve down a little bit here and here. And then kind of connect them there. Okay. So that's that's her body. This is her, her waist. And then out here will be her skirt. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give her her arms. They're going to come out from the sides here. And they're just going to be kind of little skinny shapes. I keep mine fairly, fairly simple. For the hands, I just do kind of a little point like that. So just the suggestion of a hand. You're going to have kids that are going to get crazy detailed. And if they've got the time for that, that is totally fine. Um, turn this a little bit. And then I'm going to do the other arm also coming out from about here. Just a little skinny shape. And I'm going to put kind of a point there at the end to give the give the hint of hands basically. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the circle in for her skirt. And I know she's kind of eh, off center a little bit but hey it's just how I'm drawing it this way. <laughs> All right so I'm going to start kind of out here and so I'm going to stop and go over my hand so I'm not drawing over the top of it and meet my circle. If it's not a perfect circle that's okay. Now the last two things that we're going to add in are her feet. Now she's got one foot coming out here. And I, oh, I used to know the name of this, this pose, but I can't remember it. But she's got basically her one foot down here, and it's in kind of an L shape. Okay, so you start with an L. Oops, let me make it darker. Okay, and then you're just going to flush that out of it. So we're adding a little bit of detail, but we're still keeping this really simple. The other leg is coming out from here. 
and she's got her toe pointed so I'm going to do kind of a pointy shape like I did with the hands so here's for the leg and then I'm going to kind of curve it up here and then back down for the foot okay so this is my basic shape for my ballerina now you get to start adding some details and start having a lot more fun with it so you can add in things like hair oh, she's a ballerina she needs a bun and of course you can start coloring this in add a little details maybe you want a flower down here or a little touch of color up here in her hair you know things like that you can start coloring in you can make shoes okay whatever but the important thing is on the skirt we really want them to color in that skirt and when they're coloring it in try to get them to go with how the tool in the skirt would be so Kind of more of an angle like this coming out from the body and then kind of turn it as they go around and you know not every kid will do that just give them a give it a shot see if they'll do it um, one thing that kind of does help is if you give your skirt kind of a definite edge the one that i i did for one of the examples was just a Kind of a thing like that, and then you go the opposite way. And that gives you gives you an edge to work with, and you can even make those nice and dark. Kind of pop things out a bit more. But after they color in, I would have them come up to you not do this at their desk because what you're going to do next is add some water to it and i'm trying to make this nice and dark so you can really see it and it makes it stand out really well if there's a lot of pigment here on the paper okay anyway so you're going to take a bit of water and and start kind of lightly or gently going over where it is where that pencil is and it basically turns it into watercolor paint and it's going to make it look really neat going on that skirt you can even do a couple of light touches in other places on your ballerina to make those stand out because it also makes that pigment a lot darker okay hopefully you can see that if not play with it a little bit before you before you do your lesson and really have fun with it don't worry if the shapes don't line up I mean I don't think this is really feasible but hey it's a cool project and if you have any problems just give me a shout